Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. In this video, we will see how we can rate limit API. So basically it's API throttling. So API throttling is a technique used to limit the number of requests a user can make to any API within a given time frame. And uh, this helps to prevent any abuse and ensuring fair use of API. So we will see how we can implement API throttling using Node.js and so let's create Node.js project. So for that I'll write here mkdir and let's say API express project see the API project and here what we can do we can initialize our project so I'll write npm and I'll say init hyphen y it will not ask just create one package dot json file so package json file is created now let's install here so npm install express and then we will use express rate limit package npm package so I'll say express rate limit and then we can say in enter so two packages will be installed express and rate limit express rate limit express rate okay spelling mistakes so it say express rate limit right now if we open it in our visual studio code just write here go code space dot this project will be opened in visual studio code here we will create one index file so if you go here in package you will see we have installed these two package manager packages node packages and then let's create here one file which is called index.js and here we will write node, node and express code. So first line will be const express equal to I'll just say require and here I'll say express. Then second is I'll say const rate limit equal to require and then I'll say express rate limit these two packages we have imported here now we can say const app equal to express so this is how you create node.js api also we can say port number right const port equal to i'll say 3000 so we can use env also but process.env so i'll say here process dot env dot port if this is available then use that else go and use 3000 port and after that we have to first we can just use api without rate limit let's say i'll just clo uh, close it and then i'll say app dot app dot get and here we have our endpoint so i'll say slash then we have to use req request resp response and inside that you can just write message resp dot send and from here you can just send whatever message you are you want to send so i'll say hello hello you have reached this API or hello this API is working fine anything that you can you want you can write here now this is just one endpoint but you have to start your API also Ex start your express JS also so for that we have to write app dot listen and inside listen you have to pass port number that you created 
and then second parameter will be empty and then I'll say here some message so I'll say console.log and inside this I'll just say server is running at port and then we can just pass here port number so this is how basic API we can create and to run this I'll just write here um, if not coming just click here plus symbol and it takes few seconds to load right so from here we can just say node index.js and then click enter so it's saying server is running at port number this now I'll open postman and here I have just created one collection and this is one request I just wanted to send request to 3000 port so you can see output it's saying hello you have reached this API so I can send it as many times as you, I want but now the thing is suppose if somebody use our API for automation and they have sent thousands of requests at a one time right at a time then your application might crash so to prevent that particular thing we implement rate limit and that is called API throttling so to implement that what we will do we can just enable express rate limit package and then here we have to we have to configure it so we have to define the rate limit rules so I'll say const limiter equal to and then I have to use rate limit from the express so I'll say rate limit just I have used it and inside this we can pass few parameters so first parameter is window window ms window ms this is one parameter that we need to pass then second parameter I'll, I'll configure it so this one first parameter second is max and so I'll say max and then third is message message and in message we can say too many requests from this IP right please try after some time right so we can just give this message now here window MS right so if you just wanted to check the API guidelines you can just copy go to browser and search this so I'll paste it and PM enter now you can see express less rate limit NPM link is uh, coming and then we can just open it here we have the all the users so if you'll see in this rate limit we have to just say window MS this is for 15 minutes limit 100 so 100 request can accept and after that it will give us message so I'll just use this one these two and let's go in our program so we have window and then max so in window we are saying that this is one minute and then if we multiply 15 then it is saying 15 minute limit is 100 so after 100 you can request after 15 minute so there is 15 there should be 15 minute window to send the another request so now after doing this thing what you have to do you have to implement you have to add this as a middleware so for that I'll say app dot huge and inside this I will implement limiter this is one thing that you have to say right here we are applying it whatever limiter you have used you have to apply it 
everything is same just I'll close it and run it again support is running now let's send one request you can see it's working but how we will say but how we can send 100 requests at a time so for that we have many different way you can just go here in your folder or we can say collection in postman and then just click here three dots click on run collection and after that you just see here this is the request name here it's saying iteration so I'll say 101 right because 100 request it can accept but 101 it will give us message and persist response if you want you can save the response whatever we are generating just click send test so it will send 100 requests so right now if you'll see iteration 1 2 3 right it will go till 100 64 65 all is working fine 66 82 90 and then if you see 99 right so till 99 it's working fine but after that right when it is reaching 100 right because we have executed one before right one time before executing this one that is also coming in that 15 minute frame that's why at 100 only we get 429 too many requests so while using website you also might have seen this thing that you are getting 429 this is called too many requests if you get 429 that means there is rate limiter applied on that so you have to send request after 15 minutes time frame so right now 15 minutes is not started if I will go here again and try to normal send request then also I will get the same error too many requests so this is how we can handle using express rate limit I hope you are able to get this how we can implement rate limiter or we can say API throttling in Node.js application. Thank you so much for watching the video.